We're excited to announce that the Inspire Planner Spring 20 release is now available. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the new features and enhancements that came with the Spring 20 release. Let's begin by taking a look at the new feature that auto-assigns project tasks to resources based on role. A new column called Role is now available within the project interface to allow you to define the role responsible for each project task. The values you see within the role pick list can be customized according to your needs. We've also added a role field within project teams so that as you add your project team members, you are able to define their role within the project. As you add all of your project team members and define their roles, Inspire Planner then automatically assigns your tasks to the resources based on their role. This feature also makes it easier to swap out resources. Should you need to remove a resource and assign the tasks to a different person, all you need to do is to edit the existing project team record and replace the resource. Inspire Planner will automatically unassign the project tasks from the former resource and assign them to the new resource. The related Salesforce tasks for the former resource are automatically deleted and new Salesforce tasks are then created for the new resource. Within your projects, you will also now see another column called Time Tracking Only. This means that you can create placeholder tasks within your project for time tracking purposes. We recommend that when creating these time tracking only tasks, that you create them in their own section either at the top or at the bottom of your project. This is particularly useful when you want to specify planned effort and track actual effort in bulk rather than defining it for each individual task. When time tracking only is checked, then the percent complete, start, and finish dates of time tracking only tasks are excluded from the rollup on the project. We recommend that you review our help article around how to set up time tracking only tasks within your projects. You will also notice that there's a new calendar icon at the top right corner, which allows you to define non-working days and non-working weeks for your project. Here you can add as many non-working days and weeks as needed. For example, if May 1st is a holiday and is a non-working day, all you need to do is to select the date from the calendar above and click on add. You can then choose to relabel your non-working day. When you click on OK, Inspire Planner will automatically adjust the project task start and finish dates according to the non-working day you specified. It will also automatically save your project. When you define non-working days or weeks on a template, then any new project created from the template will inherit the non-working days and weeks defined. Using the Save As feature will also inherit the same settings. As part of this release, we've also optimized printing to better handle larger projects and to simplify print options. The enhancements included are the addition of ledger within paper format and the ability to define your Gantt width. If you only want to print out your Gantt chart, set the Gantt width to 100%. To print only the task list, set it to 0. You can also choose to include a header within your printout. When including headers, the header now displays the project name as well as the project manager. You can also choose to configure a company logo within the Inspire Planner custom settings. When the logo is configured, it will also display your company logo at the top left corner. We recommend visiting our help articles to find out how you can configure your company logo. Time Tracker has also been enhanced so that the task list on the left only displays projects where the project status is in progress or not started. However, when searching for tasks, it will return all tasks assigned to you within all projects. We've also made some updates to the resource allocation page. When expanding resources on the left, it now only displays the tasks that make up the hours displayed within the timeline. As you adjust your timeline by using the left or right arrows at the top right corner, the tasks displayed automatically adjust as well. We've also updated the zoom options at the top right corner, so you're able to view the total planned effort per day, per week, or per month. 
These are just some of the features included in the Spring 20 release. Make sure you visit our release notes to see all features, enhancements, and fixes included, as well as related help articles.